So these batteries, I made these batteries on the 20th of November, and it's the 6th. So 16 days in a row, no problems, running strong. I switched the white light out with another white light. I think it's more a little brighter. But I still think it's probably a half watt. It's just got a nice lens. And then I added a red light. I'm not sure if it's a one watt or a three watt. I didn't write down when I made this thing. And that's connected to the three of the new batteries I just hooked up today. So let's see how many days that. It's got its own solar panel also. Homemade batteries, working fantastic. Okay, to be honest, this is the easiest way I've found. And it just may be more practical just to buy it. a couple hundred of these little batteries. I think it's safer. So you cut the positive end off first. Now older ones crystal turn hard sometimes but these newer ones well they're a little bit hard still I mean it's, it's not a powder so that's what I like about this it's, it's not a powder and it doesn't uh, get in the air I mean you might get some see it's wet so it's got a now in the center is the uh, got to get this part out this is the main uh, this is the zinc we don't want the zinc. So I get all the zinc out or as much as I can. There's a cardboard insert that comes out also. So there's the uh, separator. Now this stuff comes out pretty easy. There's a little contact here that goes in the and that would be the, the negative. I'm not sure what that's made of. Might be a titanium or something. We want this out here, this powder. See, so it doesn't make a, a dust. That's what one thing I like about it. It's, it's, it's somewhat moist. Crushes up real nice. And then it dissolves in distilled water nicely also. So I felt about halfway. And I scoop this stuff in there with these zinc plates I have. I was putting three scoops. I'm, I think I'm going to go to four. Because this is a larger jug. So this is the uh, manganese dioxide I ordered. Now this stuff is a little more dangerous because it's powdery. So you don't want it on your skin. You don't want it on your clothes. You don't want it on your face. And four. Two. Maybe all it needs. Um, I, I've come to a conclusion. I don't. I'm not going to use that manganese dioxide. I mean the uh, potassium hydroxide. We get this stuff in there. Had to use these aluminum crimpers. 
with a stainless wire. The stainless wire isn't exactly a well, just I can't find anything to stick to it very well for a sealing, I mean for the contacts. And that's it on there ain't a whole lot to these things really. Fill it up with water. on this one. Point seven four again, so that's about where they start out and then they slowly climb. So that's a good sign. So far so good. Alright, I added three more prototypes. They're not getting as high a voltage for some reason and yeah, you know, it's a working project. <laughs> But the amperage seems to be pretty good. They're, they're not even one volt for some reason in them. There's just a lot of variables I'm working on. But these are insulated double wall stainless containers. Kind of pricey too. Um, I don't know if that has something to do with it. It could possibly. Because this one over here is a single wall and it's a 1.1 volt. It's my best one so far. Single wall stainless steel container I got at the thrift store. <laughs> I taped it up so it would be insulated on the outside. So that one's, if I can get them all like this, I've made a, a big breakthrough. But either way, they're all working great. So those three are putting out about 2 volts, although right now it's hooked up to the solar panel. I'm going to run that red light tonight. <laughs> And then I switch this one out to this light. Where's that switch at? So this one will come on also. See if it, I want to see if that one will stay on all night. I'm amazed at how well these homemade batteries are working. Now they're charging right now, but even when I turn the panels over, there's no power from the solar. Look at that. It was almost it was almost dead this morning. Well it wasn't quiet, but it was getting dull, but now look how bright it is. Same with this one. This one's been run this will be 18 days tonight. You can see the stainless inside of the cups. This is a stainless cup here. I got three of those on the newer ones that's running this red one. So if anybody can take some time and start researching like I'm doing, experimenting and posting what you come up with, we're going to get, I think we're going to come up with some pretty good batteries here, guys. This is all I'm using. Works great. So I'm tying it with, uh, connecting it with the stainless wire. It works pretty good, but it won't solder to this, so I have to... It, it's this solders for some reason pretty good, but this doesn't. So I don't know. I may need to change this stainless cable out, but it's working okay so far. I, I use these little crimpers on it. <clears throat> I'll use these for my separators. They're kind of thick. We might want to go thinner, but it's working. And this is the zinc I'm using. It, it's like a foil almost. It's fairly thin. It's probably like a 64, so it's. Heavier gauge would probably be better. This is apparently made for roofing or different projects, but it's working great. It's about 30 or 40 bucks for this roll. I think it's uh, 50 feet, 55 feet or something by three inches. So I don't use much. I probably use about four inches, five inches in each one. I'll probably try a heavier gauge later, especially if this stuff uh, deteriorates too quickly. Don't throw these batteries away, guys. I always saved them, and I'd, I'd always be able to find at least one or two that were still good. Well, I, I used to work at the convention, I'd find them on the floor too, so 
I ended up saving quite a bit. A friend of mine gave me all these when she found out I'm uh, doing mad science projects here. So all these alkaline batteries have the material inside of them that I'm using in these batteries besides Epsom salt and distilled water. <laughs>